Hello everyone, welcome back to Colonial Plaza and a rematch here. Game number 64. Not a repeat. It's the same rematch as a uh, same matchup as game 63. Steamrollers versus the Colonels. Cordasco Schroeder on the hill today for the Steamrollers and Welt Logan we see here pitching for the Colonels. The home team. No, inside. Yeah, one and one to Kurt Johnson who leads it off here for the Steamrollers. Pops that one up. All right to Maddox there in center field for the first out. Brings up Chuck Rockett. Let's take a look here at Logan. He's strained. Maybe he's gotten some extra work lately. May have gotten hurt in a previous game. More of a junk and accuracy pitcher than velocity. That one's grounded to Davis at third. Across the diamond for the second out. Brings up Banjo Crane. And he pops that one up. Lots of foul territory here, but not enough room. Let's go snag that one. Yeah, well, Logan looking strange, so that, this will be interesting to see how this plays out throughout this uh, game. And that one's popped up. Fry there. And snags it for the final out. And Fry will lead it off here for the Colonels. In the bottom half of the first. Let's take a look here at Car or Cardosco Schroeder. As he fires one in. 98 on the gun from Schroeder. And that one's fouled away over the Colonels dugout. Schroeder is one of the league leaders, or one of the best in the game right now in terms of strikeouts. Big strikeout pitcher for the steamrollers. That one's fair. And Proctor steps on first for the first out. Brings up Nico Hendricks. Short stop for the Colonels. Shorter four-seamer slider, curveball, forkball change. That one's lined out to Rocket for the second out. And Gangnam now steps in. Gangnam hitting quite well here, too. 341, three homers, eight RBIs. Takes the ball outside from Schroeder. And another ball, three and one now. And there's a strike, grooves one in. And popped up. Very, very high pop up. Madden's there to put it away for the third out. Four, five, and six do up now for the steamrollers in the top of the second. Hudson Hopkins steps in. And that one's just fouled down the line. Logan's a little bit more of a uh, traditional pitcher that we've seen here in Cheese League. Four-seamer, slider, curveball change. And that one's fouled away. And two and two now to Hopkins. And gets him. A little high and inside called strike there for my liking, but Hopkins goes down on strikes. Annika Proctor steps in. Pops that one a mile high. And who's going to get it? And that's going to be Maddox for the second out. Brings up Jericho dozen rolls. Fun name to say, but dozen rolls is having a real tough season here. Batting a buck 35. And 2 1 now. And high from Logan. 3 and 1. That one's popped up. And Davis is there to put it away for the final out. And Davis will actually lead it off. Look at that. Happened again. 4, 5, and 6 do up in the bottom half of the second here for the Colonels. Davis pops this one up. And it's going to be no problem there. Can of corn for Kurt Johnston. One out. Brings up Leon Sanford. Sanford had a good game. Game number 63. If I do recall, I believe he was two for three. That one's hit to Clark. Throws across the diamond for the second out. John Thicket now steps in. DH here for the Colonels. Colonels won the last game in this 
matchup. They won 8-4 over the Steamrollers. 2-1 now. Schroeder delivers and throws the ball way high. 3-1. And, and nice curveball there. And grounded to Proctor. Oh, no. No. This is kind of in no man's land there. And he's safe. I think he would have been safe e either way. So a little squibbed swinging bunt there inside our infield hit. So one on and two outs for Vincente Jeffries. He looks at strike 98 in the gun there from Schroeder. That one's popped up. And again, Johnson's there. Put it away. Final out. Bottom part of the lineup due up now for the Steamrollers here in the top of the third. Xerox Madden steps in. 25 pitches now. So despite looking strained, Logan's pitching quite well. That one's hit up the middle. Base hit. So runner on here in the top of the third that brings up Alex Clark. And Clark's really, really been struggling this season. Steamroller third baseman. That one's popped up. And who's going to be there to get it? Is it going to be Fry? Is it going to be? No, it's going to be Jeffries. And puts it away for the first out of the inning. That brings up Cabrera, who's catching today. Popped up again. Maddox camps under it. Puts it away for the second out. So one on, two outs now. And that brings up Kurt Johnston, who's 0 for 1 today. Top of the order. And ooh, nice. Nice little pitch there. Off-speed pitch. Got him swinging right through it. And again. And there. Called out. I thought that was a little high and outside <laughs> for me, but uh, Johnson's punched out. Brings up Reina tightly. 8-9-1 do up here for the Colonels. And Schroeder's looking locked in as that. The base hit up the middle, so tightly's on. And brings up Maddox. Who's looking rattled, still looking rattled. He's in a couple of games here where he's been looking like that. Hopefully he can turn things around here. Popped up. Left field. Johnson's there. And one out. Now Corbin Fry. 0 for 1 today. And that one's fouled away. Like I said, Tightly's not a strong runner there at first base, so. A big hit here to score that run. 1-2 to Fry. And that one's hit. Rocket makes the leaping catch. Just like that, two outs with Nico Hendricks up. And there's a strike. 95 in the gun here from Cardasco Schroeder. And nice stop there. Wow, nice diving catch from Annika Proctor. Now batting the second baseman, number three. So 2-3-4 two, do up now for the steamrollers here in the top of the fourth. Ball outside. One and one now to Rockette. And fouled away. Popped up. Lots of room there. Gangnam puts it away for the first half. Banjo Crane steps in. Fouls that one. So much foul territory here at Colonial Plaza. Reminds me of the Coliseum. That one's squibbed to Jeffries for the second out. Hudson Hopkins steps in, 0 for 1. Struck out his first time up. Struck out looking, I believe.
Oh, and two now to Hopkins. And ball way outside. Try to get him to chase. And try to tie him up there. Two and two. Grounded to Davis. He throws across the diamond for the third out. So going now to the bottom of the fourth. Little pitcher's duel brewing here between Schroeder and Logan. These teams are pretty evenly matched, I will say. Gangnam steps in. He's 0 for 1. So Schroeder's a little bit more of a power pitcher. That was popped up. And I believe Rockette's going to be there to put it away for the first out. Logan's not much of a power pitcher. He's a little more junk junk pitcher. But uh, Schroeder's definitely the strikeout guy. But we've seen Logan put a couple of these steamrollers hitters down. Aldo Davis now lines one foul down the left field line. Two and one now to Davis. Ball, that's up. Ball outside. And aim. Davis walks. So actually, that might be the first walk of the day that Schroeder's let up. So Davis is on first. Samford up. And Davis actually runs pretty well over there. That one has popped up about a mile and a half high. Dozen rolls puts it away for the second out. Pickett steps in one for one today. One on, two outs. Runner goes. Maybe a little hit and run action here. Try to get things started, but that's pop out to Crane to end the inning. Look at this lack of offense. One hit for the <laughs> one hit for the rollers and two hits for the Colonels. Brings up Annika Proctor. I'm really surprised to hear it at Logan. Strained. And still doing some work here with these steamroller hitters. Full count now on Proctor. And fouled off. Grounder up the middle. Base hit. So Proctor's on first. Brings up Jericho, dozen rolls. Pretty good speed. Proctor Ball, likes to run, so let's see if they do something here. Two-no to dozen rolls. That's up. And I think the home crowd wanted that call. There's maybe that's a gimme back there. It looked a little high. Three and one. It's right to Hendricks for the first out. I'm actually surprised that Proctor didn't run there, but uh, Xerox Madden steps in now. Looks at a strike in the outside part of the plate. And 0-2. Oh and, and he swings, kind of tomahawks that one. Tightly puts it away. And that brings up Alex Clark, who's 0-1 for 1 today. And we're going to have a pinch hitter here. Rio steps in now for Clark. And and that one's fouled off. I, I can't believe they're not sending Proctor here at some point. Tightly doesn't have the best arm behind the play. I mean, you can see Proctor doesn't even have that big of a lead. That one's popped up. Rios hits one. Kind of floated into left field there, so... Runners in the corners now, two outs, and Cabrera steps in. A little something brewing here for the rollers. No, inside. And hit into the right center gap. That'll be extra bases, one run scores. Let's see, and they're gonna send the runner home. Definitely no play at the plate here. Those steamrollers take that two nothing lead. Brings up Kurt Johnson in the top of the order. He's 0 for 2 today. And all of Logan's velocity has just gone down now. He's 70 pitch mark. That one's popped up quite high. That's staying in the park. Sanford's there to put it away for the final out. So the steamrollers get on the board. They lead at 2-0 as we go here in the bottom of the fifth. up Vicente Jeffries 
And Pace is going to take over at shortstop. And Miller is going to go to left field for just a lot, a lot of defensive replacements there. <laughs> Couldn't even keep track of all those defensive replacements. So Jeffrey steps in, 7-8-9 due up here for the Colonels. And good pitch in there from Schroeder. You know, he throws that off-speed pitch, that changeup. Brings in tightly. You know, he's throwing mid-90s with his fastball and mid-80s with that changeup. That's a big difference. That one's hit quite well. Let's see, a dozen rolls there. Puts it away for the second out. And Dexter Maddox steps in now. And ball low. 2-1 now to Maddox. And that one's hit right to Proctor. She takes it herself for the final out of the inning. Colonels go down in order. Go to the top of the six. 2-3-4 due up here for the Steamrollers. And Walt Logan is still in there. Got to give him credit. He's really shown that. Shown his team that he's in it to win it. That one's off Gangnam's glove. Jeffries recovers over to Logan for the first out. Andrew Crane steps in, 0 for 2. And yes, we're going to have a pitching change here. I was wondering if that was going to happen sooner than later. Greshian Dawson comes in. Seeing him out of the Colonel's bullpen quite a bit. Grounded to Hendricks for the second out. Brings in Hudson Hopkins. Ball low. Tied him up there. Fouled that one away. One and one. And nice curveball there from Dawson. Tries it again on the outside part of the plate. Maybe expanding the zone. Grounded. And Jeffries gets there. Toward the final out. Top of the order due up here for the Colonels. Let's see if they can make something happen. Schroeder's pretty commanding pitcher here. Across Cheese League. That one's a base hit. Oh, no. Wow. Chuck Rockett stealing a base hit there. What a nice diving stop. Nico Hendricks now steps in. Hendricks, he's juiced. His stats are all off the charts. But Schroeder gets him swinging. Gangnam steps in now. 0 for 2 today. High curveball. Right back to Schroeder for the final out. Rockette definitely, definitely, definitely saved a extra base hit there. So good on the steamroller's defense here. So Proctor steps in here in the top of the seventh. Dawson's still in pitching. One on one count. And she fouls that one off. Two and two now to Proctor. That one's grounded to Davis. Across the diamond for the first out. There's a Jericho dozen rolls. 0 for 2 today. Dozen rolls really like to change that over. You see, dozen rolls stats too. He's more of a contact and speed guy, so he should be your traditional leadoff hitter, but he's just having a rough season. That one's popped up now. Sanford's there for the second out. Brings up Madden, who's one for two with a single. Contact versus lefties is activated. That one's hit, but again, right at Sanford for the final out. So traveling now to the bottom part of the frame, four, five, and six, the heart of the order due up for the Colonels. Let's see if the Cobb crew can make something happen here. Davis steps in. Schroeder locked in, has just now reached 70 pitches. That one's popped up high. Crane's under it for the first out. Just a loud out there. He's heard all those Colonels fans really Getting behind that one. Tried to will it out of the stadium. Sanford steps in now. And takes a ball outside. One and one. 
And the 3-1 now to Sanford. And there's a strike. I don't think the home crowd liked that. And Schroeder gets him. So the Colonel's down to their final out now. John Thicket steps in. One for two today. Popped up. Rockettes there. This should do it. And it does. Final out. Steamrollers win. They split the series. One all. And win 2-0. Let's take a look at the lines here. 2-0 over the Colonels. 2-4-0 for the Steamrollers. 0-2-0 to the Colonels. Not a lot of offense in this game, but uh, definitely a little pitcher's duel brewed between Schroeder and Logan, so that's pretty darn. I always love the games where the pitchers, where there's a pitcher's duel, and I love pitching and watching that, so it was a joy to announce and talk over. Steamrollers on their side, hits from Proctor and Madden and Rios and Cabrera. Cabrera with the big uh, two RBIs. On the Colonel's side, not a lot. Thicket and Tightling, and that's it. So, not a lot to talk about in terms of uh, offense here. Schroeder gets the win, improves his record to 2-1. and one. Again, he's 2.19 ERA. That's fantastic. He picks up three strikeouts, so we'll have to see where he ends up on the, uh, on the leaderboard. I know he's up there, the, one of the leaders in strikeouts. Logan gets a loss. Tough for him because he was strained and maybe a little hurt, but he uh, drops now to 0-2 on the season. Still a respectable ERA. Let's take a look at the top three. Cardasco, Schroeder, obviously. Seven innings pitched. Complete game, two hits, one walk, and three strikeouts. Peter Cabrera, one for two with a double and two RBIs. And then Logan gets also gets the nod here. Five and, five and a third innings pitched. Four hits, two earned runs, and two strikeouts. So that's how game number 64 ends here on Cheese League Baseball on Geek Cheese on YouTube. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to our channel. We've got lots more Cheese League coming at you. Um, yeah, lots and lots more games coming. And uh, be sure to follow us on Twitter at Geek underscore Cheese. That's where you'll get all your Cheese League updates and other fun stuff and news. Thank you again, folks, for watching. Game number 64 in the books. Steamrollers win. Take care. Bye.